What's going on guys? Back at you again. Just wanted to talk to you real quick about the bags that I'm running right now. As you know, uh, with Red Rum over there, um, I had I tried small bags, I tried big bags, I tried the, the leather bags that just hang over. This is the same, I mean it's the 1800, uh, the new one Titan, and uh, it's pretty much the same body style and all that uh, for the most part. So what I went with was actually Harley bags. Um, they are from Road Glide or Street Glide, whatever. I mean, it's all the same. Um, so as you know, I got them on a Honda VTX 1800C um, and that's not what they go to. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I got them on there and uh, my mounting system that I'm using so far that's working out pretty well. It's not a perfect you know, mount, but it's, it's working pretty well uh, amongst the, the other aftermark, uh, aftermarket mounts that are out there so just want to show you real quick what i was running the way i got these on here um, i have aftermarket brackets on here these bags are um, harley um, road glide street glide um, they're the aftermarket xmt moto um, they work exactly the same they look exactly the same they're uh, really decent quality i mean it's pretty much the same thing same mechanism the locks and all that um, but yeah, I have a different kind of mounting system instead of the factory ones because this doesn't fit, you know, a Honda VTX. I'm not using the quick connects um, or quick disconnects from Harley. Um, so I have them mounted to an aftermarket. You'll also notice that I have a little bit of a uh, addition there, a little customization to these actual bags. And I'm going to have these bags in the description uh, so you can order them. They're XMT Moto. Um, and there are their remakes. They're a lot cheaper than you know buying the Harley bags, and a lot of Harley guys do buy them. So if you're a Harley guy, you're already familiar with this company and, and what they make. But um, I had to make a solution because uh, I have the the lights here were too big in the back, as you can see on the 13. Um, the lights stick out, you know, pretty good. So I couldn't have that. These were too close in. Um, so I had to get rid of them. I tried these other tiny little signals, but they sucked. So what I did was I got something that I could mount on here. Um, and I think they look pretty good. They're flowing. So, you know, they, they kind of shoot across like that. And um, right now they're hyper flashing uh, because they're LED and, you know, I tapped into the, the factory harness. So now it thinks that there's no bulb or, or nothing there. So um, the reason why I'm telling you that is because I have another fix that I'm going to be showing you. It's coming here in a couple days. Um, it's an easy fix uh, for something like that. And um, so anyways, that's going to be the signal solution that I uh, figured out. And all I have to really worry about is just this wire going over there. And so I wanted to start it off by just showing you first the bracket that I used. Um, these are just aftermarket cheap brackets that I got with one of the bags that I ordered. I think there were some small bags that I uh, ordered back uh, with Red Rum, actually. Um, and as you see, they're, they're flat steel. It's pretty thick steel. It's a very strong, strong piece there. Um, and it has this angle here that goes under and kind of comes out and gives a really nice diameter you know um, as far as like how close you want it to the bike and whatnot so um, I really like the, the angle of it and the best thing about it is each one of these holes that it has um, it's pretty much universal as you see there are multiple holes and you can bend this and move this in any direction you need um, you know to, in order to make it fit but these are all also tapped um, so they screw in they, they provide a really really snug fit so these really are the key to uh, to getting them in I've seen other people that get the the actual factory ones that go through the, the bottom of this and then they wrap up and they connect to the foot peg on a Harley but I don't have that connection and it won't fit on this one so I had to get creative so this is what I what I came up with so far until I find another one but so far this has been the best little ring ones all of that it just it doesn't work so um, what you do is you get this installed get it in a nice solid position and then you put your bag over top and then you want to mark those holes and I found it easy to just come around the back once you get it in position and, and hold it where you want put something in there like an allen wrench or something and scratch the hole when you got somebody else it's, be it's best it's best for a two-man job but once you get it into position you want it get something in there and just scratch a hole then you go back to your bags you're gonna have to drill yeah I know this <laughs> it's it's scary at first but you'll get used to it um, just make sure you got your holes right, you got your positions right and everything. Drill your holes, fit it up again while you're semi-loose here. You should be a little snug so you can like move it around. You get your fitment and then after that go back, take it back off and retorque these down and get this as tight as possible. Um, and then you put it down and so now 
Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use the Harley Disconnect that just a two because it's not sitting on a bottom rail. This isn't being utilized. So each time you have Allen screws, at least two of them. You can do more if you want. Um, two seem to be holding up pretty well for me. Um, and so you'll just have to, you know, take the screws out each time you do it. Show you real quick. So if this is from the inside, I had to drill the holes here. Um, you can line these up on the outside when you're doing this um, with these. So it's best to have two people. You're going to be lining it up, moving those arms around to whatever fits nice and flush with whatever bag you have. This works for any bag too. That's why I really like these, these brackets in the design because um, they could be applied to, to anything. Um, so you just line them up, you get under there and mark it. Um, have somebody hold it and you get under there and mark it again I, I found it easier to just reach something in there and scratch a hole of where I needed to drill because you're gonna need to widen up the holes you know here and there just to make it fit um, but uh, we should be be able to get away with two holes on each side and again you just drill through put the, the your screws through here and again these aren't, aren't gonna be used but you pretty much have the size bags or whatever bags you want so now that I have one going, as you see, they have these, you know, hex bolts that go in here and they screw in here. And as you can see, if you can see, um, they just screw right into the, um, the actual bracket is threaded in there. So it's threading right into the bracket, which is really tight, draws it tight all the time. And then the nut and washer goes over top of it to lock that in place. Just a quick little, uh, you know, little tip. Just to, you know, if you are thinking about bags, different types of bags, um, you know, what will fit on your bike and what won't. Um, obviously, you're going to have to look at your specific bike. If you got like, you know, a, a, a totally different bike that's got a different setup on the sides, then you'll have to look at that. But for most cruisers, um, both metric, American, whatever you have, are going to be, you know be able to use these these brackets and it's going to work pretty good so I figured I'd at least show you just to, you know to see um, you know it, they're better than them bag, you know the these things <laughs> while I'm picking on them these ones actually came with here but uh, came with them and I put them on red rum but I don't think they're doing it much justice so uh, I'm gonna be taking them off and probably tossing them in the bin I, I really not not a fan of the the leather bags I had one when I first got Red Rum and they just got nasty in the rain and everything because they're not real leather. Um, and so I went with hard bags. Last year was just small because we went to uh, Sturgis. So I just needed something that locked and would hold a few things, you know, like my drone and GoPro stuff. So it did that and that was fine. So um, it's time to, to get something more permanent. So and this is what we, we got now. So they got the size that I want. They look great. I got them swept back, you know, perfectly with these brackets. They, they swing back and forth. So, you know, you can get pretty much any angle on any bag. So if you're thinking of a bag that looks, you know, like it would fit your bike and, and it's all about the bag with these brackets, you, you pretty much can just shop bags instead of, um, you know, instead of something specific that fix, fits your bike. Um, you know, if it doesn't fit, make it fit. Um, so I don't know, I'll, I'll leave the link in for the bags that I got and, um, you know, they came along with some aftermarket. You may be able to look for these brackets and they, they sell them individually. Just, you know, get an idea, you know, of what they look like. They have that little bend that comes out. They're flat, like half inch, quarter inch steel, something like that. They're very thick. They're braided or threaded, uh, you know, so you can put a screw in there. Um, and uh, so far they've been the, the, the best brackets that I've had. There's a little bit of shimmy, a little bit of wiggle, but you know, that's, that's you know, I may even be able to, to figure out some kind of other bracket to, to stop that from happening. And it only happens when they're empty. So anyways, guys, just a quick one, just to show you, you know, what I'm, what I'm working with and to, to maybe help you guys get, get what you want on your bike. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, hit the bell too, you know, that my videos will pop up for you, you know, when I do have a, a you know, a new video out. So. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one.